I'm Richard, we're the CRM executives, and this is our target sustainability project. So I have a question for you. How many of you have showered in the last 24 hours? Okay, now I can guess that most of you use a traditional cotton towel, but has the idea of switching to a bamboo fiber towel ever crossed your mind? All right, today we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about what sustainability actually is. We're gonna give you a rundown of our SWOT analysis, why we chose the home department, and our product plan. All right, a little bit about what sustainability is. It's very future oriented. Um, everything that we need for our survival and well-being depends on our environment. Um, so keeping our environment um, consistent and using the least amount of natural resources is very important. We broke this down into the triple bottom line, which is the social part, environmental, and economic. And we focus mainly on the environmental. For our situational analysis, Target has many strengths. They are one of the largest retail stores in the country, and they also have higher products or higher end products than their competitors. Uh, for weaknesses, sustainable products are generally more expensive, um, and also Target can be more expensive than some of their competitors as well. Some opportunities that it has is that there are more departments in the store, so they have more room for improvement. Um, they also can set the bar high for their sustainability because they have, they can take that risk. Um, being a big retail store, they have more money to spend and they have a solid customer base already, so it doesn't matter too much if they implement a sustainable product and it fails, then they just learn from it. Um, some threats that they have is that consumers may be unwilling to follow the sustainability um, trend and that the competing retailers may be more sustainable than Target already is. So we chose the home department. Uh, we have two main reasons stated up there why we chose it. We found that the home department was the least developed, which uh, gave us the biggest opportunity for growth. Uh, when we were trying to decide what to do with this project, we thought the home department gave us the biggest, or opened as many doors uh, than some of the other uh, some of the other categories that we were proposed with and we found it was the least developed with many different categories and many different directions that we could go in with the home department. For our product plan, we will be discussing what bamboo towels are like, um, how, why are they a viable option, how the price plays a role, and who else provides this option. All right, so now we're gonna give you a rundown about why bamboo towels are a little bit better than the average cotton towels. Um, they are very, they're naturally antibacterial, naturally um, antifungal, odor resistant, and highly water absorbent. Also, bamboo is grown, um, it can be grown in like many different soils or many different climates. So, um, it's mainly grown in Asia, but it's also, also grown in Southeast um, America. And it can be, if we, if we started using it more, we could start growing it more if it was in higher demand. Um, we also noticed that it grows very fast in comparison to cotton, so it's a lot easier to just reproduce it. Um, another downside of cotton is that 2.5% of the world's cultivated land uh, is used by the 2.5% of cotton is grown on the cultivated land, but it uses 16% of the world's insecticides, so it uses um, a lot of, it's not very natural compared to the bamboo. So when switching from one product to another, one main thing that people think about is obviously the price. We determined that there were four different things that could cause or have effects on the price of this product. Production and shipping costs, availability of the product, demand in the market, and other competitors in the market. As far as production and shipping costs, these are obviously going to be high right off the bat. With any new product, any new idea, anything new that a company is trying to do, your startup costs are going to be way higher than down the road. So in the end, we feel that these aren't really gonna have that big of an effect on the production of the product or getting it to the store shelves. Uh, demand in the market, we did some research and though you guys might not know that a bamboo towel is a thing, there is demand out there. It is growing just like the sustainability or the idea of sustainability is growing, which right now is growing exponentially and we expect the demand for something like this to also grow. Uh, availability and competitors in the market kind of go hand in hand. We found again with our research that availability of the product 
is really non-existent uh, on store shelves. Mainly the only place you can find it is um, online. Not many places have it as an option when you're shopping. Going a little bit further into competition, restating what I said earlier was uh, mainly com competition is only located online. We found three main competitors, Bed Bath & Beyond, Amazon, and Overstock. As far as Amazon and Overstock, obviously both of those are only online companies, which Target will be able to compete with them because they have the online option as well. Uh, as far as Bed Bath & Beyond, they do have a, a slight leg up on Target because they actually do offer uh, bamboo towels online, but they don't have it on their store shelves. So if Target's able to penetrate this market and get it on the store, se store shelves first, it'll help them get a leg up on competition, not only on the store shelves, but also online. So we looked at some price comparisons of the bamboo towel to the cotton towel. Um, first we looked at Amazon, and the average cotton towel was around $15. That's a higher quality towel. And then we looked at the cost of bamboo towels, and those were 17 so only a couple dollars difference. Uh, then we looked at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, they mainly sold them in sets, so we looked at um, a set of cotton towels compared to a set of bamboo towels. That was about $10 more, so a little bit pricey. But then we looked at Target, and as you know, they don't sell them at all. And the average cotton towel was around $10, give or take. So we decided that we wanted to implement a price that was close to Bed Bath & Beyond's bamboo towel and um, Amazon's until our costs go down and the demand goes up. For presentation, Target should have a poster similar to this one in their towel aisle highlighting the benefits of bamboo over cotton. This will help let consumers know why they should pick bamboo over cotton and also on their website having an advertisement on their homepage letting consumers know that this is now an option and that it's more sustainable. Along with all the other research that we conducted, we did three different phone interviews. We called Bed Bath & Beyond here in town, Fargo here in town, and another, or Target here in town, and another Target store down in Minneapolis, the Nicolette location, which is part of Target's headquarters. Um, these interviews reinforce everything that we've talked about today. We found out that demand is high. People go into all these different stores and are asking about the bamboo towels but people are having to turn them away. The Target representatives have to turn them away. Bed Bath & Beyond has to send them to the online store. And for some people, the idea of online shopping really isn't something that they've grasped the concept of or that's not really something that they're into. Um, so after these interviews, we thought that this was, again, a good idea for us to implement this into Target's store shelves because we would be the first people or the first company to have this on our store shelves and the demand is obviously there. Uh, we just have to get the product to the people. Uh, in conclusion, we've talked about things such as a SWOT analysis of Target, sustainability as an overview, and our product plan for bamboo towels, which covered things like competition, availability, price, and everything else we talked about. And we hope that not only Target can be a little bit more sustainable, but we as consumers, the next time we head into the store, by go for the option of the bamboo towel rather than the traditional cotton. So the references, any questions? Um, so how do, okay, so going back to the competition aspect, you said that many of the bamboo towels were sold online. Did you determine why, or did you, were you able to discover uh, why they're not on the shelf? Was there? This, um, the idea of the bamboo towel is a relatively new, um, it's a relatively new idea, and I think that um, with a new idea, people are companies are more likely to sell something online first because if you sell it online and it doesn't sell, then you're not taking some. Now, if they put these on their store shelves and they have to take something else off, they're not only not making money on the new product, they could be losing out on the money from. The product that they took off the shelves. So this is a new idea that's growing with the idea of sustainability. So it's still an up and coming idea where it's a new it's a new idea for companies and that's why it's I online. think they're just trying to get the foot in the door right now and see if they yeah, see if they sell. 
typically some companies, they offer like uh, their own version of a product. Uh, with bamboo towels, is, is there like a company that manufactures them that you want to part, partner with Target or are you proposing that Target kind of makes their own brand of bamboo towels? We have talked about that. There's kind of two different ways we were thinking of going, either merging <coughs> with a different company, buying from them. Um, that way we would make less profit, or Target would make less profit. The other way would be that our Target manufactures them themselves. Um, when we were thinking, the reason we didn't decide on one was because it kind of depends on how hard Target wants to get into it. If they really want to invest, then they'll make it themselves. If they just kind of want to feel it out, they would probably purchase from someone else. Yeah. There are other people that make them and that can sell them to Target to sell on their shelves. Just out of curiosity, when you were doing your research, did you find anything that talked about, um, you did a good job of complaining, uh, not complaining, sorry. <laughs> you did a good job of comparing uh, cotton versus bamboo. I was wondering, did you find anything in terms of how um, a bamboo towel feels in terms of cotton? Because the price difference is, isn't different, is not that much of a difference, but Sometimes towels, the price of the that difference. Just a different. Where are you just, shots, I, I, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just asking uh, a question. Yeah, we did, find, we did look up some research. Obviously, we couldn't go buy one, so um, or even look at them in the stores. So we looked it up, and they said they were pretty similar. Similar, and it also said that bam, bamboo is a very highly water absorbent. Um, yeah, the comments on Amazon mm -hmm. were yeah, it's very soft, so. And I'm just asking because I've never, right, this yeah, is the first time hearing this. Yeah. So, right, yeah. so. I don't know, is it, uh, I don't know if this was part of my look at the, uh, what you were charged to do, but how do you convince a consumer to pay a little bit more for these towels? Um, with any sustainable product, they're always going to be a little bit more because they're new and innovative. Um, but we just decided that because they're antibacterial, a lot of families might think that that's good, especially for children and Target's marketers are families of women. Um, so that's like kind of what we picked up on most there. And since it is a growing, um, it's a new idea, like you said, this is the first time you've ever heard of this, it would take a lot of marketing and a lot of getting the idea out there and the plan out there. Um, one thing they do have going for them is like we talked about, there is a demand for the product and that is with zero marketing, that's with it out on the store shelves. So what does that mean for the future? If Target's able to get it on its store shelves, put in marketing plans, if this becomes some, make commercials or do different promotional things, how is that gonna affect demand? And hopefully it'll increase, increase demand. Thank you very much.